Lotus Exige Sport 410, 2018, Speed, Grip, Agility, and Joy. Lotus reckons its all-new Sport 410 is the ultimate road-going Exige. This is all relative. The Exige remains Lotus's most potent car. A tiny warhead of track day mayhem. The Sport 410 basically takes maximum Exige, the Cup 430, and dials it back from 12 to 11. Power and torque come down a little, downforce is reduced, the price drops £15,000 to £85,600 before options, and the six-stage traction control allowing a myriad of circuit slip angles is deleted. The key addition is a more road-biased chassis setup, with the Cup 430's three-way adjustable nitron dampers given more scope to control spring compression to soften the ride. Unlike the fixed head only Cup 430, the Sport 410 can be specified as a roadster with a removable roof section. That's the car we're testing. Despite the on-road bias, don't go thinking this Exige has turned into a Merc Cabriolet, while they get air scarf head restraints that duct warm air to your neck, the Lotus just buffets the back of your bonds with vortexes of air. No matter, a press of the throttle and you'll soon displace them, as your head jerks backwards with the 410's rapacious thrust. Change up from second to third using the clackety stick shift with its exposed linkage, and if you time it to land in the meat of the V6's torque band, there's an elastic snap of thrust like being fired from a catapult, accompanied by the supercharger's whine and the threshing of combustion. Factor in the rush of the wind and the sensation packed 410 feels every bit as rapid as its 3.4 seconds blitz of the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint suggests. This is the fastest roadster in Lotus history. And it's probably the loudest, with the optional titanium exhaust. Its 5,500 pounds cost is quite a chunk of change, even on an 86,000 pounds sports car but the furious blare from 4,500 revolutions per minute is something to behold. I'd be amazed if it passed circuit noise regulations though. Enthusiasts will probably forgive its motorway drone in sixth gear, especially in return for the hilarious gargle on the overrun in sport mode, it rumbles even at 1,500 revolutions per minute in fourth around town. The Exige Sport 410 delivers an incredible buzz of sensations, and at its heart is the unassisted steering. It naturally requires a hearty tug during parking maneuvers, but once you get rolling it comes alive with lightness and feedback. The little wheel ducks and dives in your palms, swaying with the road's camber, tugging towards the cat's eyes you clip. Its precision makes the Exige Sport 410 a joyous car to pilot, delivering an ultra-sensitive connection with the tarmac just a few centimeters beneath your low-slung backside. It's enough to make you misty-eyed about the grand old days of driving, though the Exige's cockpit reminds you of some of its compromises. There's a tiny digital display which is largely indecipherable in daylight, who needs to know the fuel level? and you still have to clamber across vast sills, beware of the carbon finish, which is easily scuffed. The steering is barely adjustable, the slimline Alcantara and leather seats only travel fore and aft, and you'll have to stump up another £1,650 for a stereo and aircon. The Exige's venerable age even allows you to bypass modern regulations and delete the driver's airbag, strip away all such luxuries and the Exige Sport 410 becomes the lightest V6 Exige ever, weighing 1054 kilograms without fluids.